I got interested enough that I got in touch with Gary Kies, and he was the first person from back then that was really a, like a well-known guy who really got me into it. And he had saved a lot of stuff at his house, and I went to see him, and he handed it all over to me and wanted to help me with my museum. And I got in touch with John Thorpe, and Gene Hustings had me over to his house, and everybody started really taking a notice, knowing that I'm not a collector that's just trying to uh, take their stuff and eBay it. Our whole idea with this museum is we have, we have unbuilt and we have new kits, but that's not really the essence of the sport. We're really based about on, on finding the people that, that did it, knowing why they did it, and looking at the stuff, and, and putting together a timeline and a history so a thousand years from now somebody can know where all this came from. So. That's why I started doing it, because it was just a lack of it. And also, anything I get into, I have to be the expert on it. I've done this, this is probably the third or fourth thing I've done where I've become the expert in the world on that subject. This one only took me about three months, and I was well way past anybody else on the planet because they didn't really take that next step to track people down and talk to them. And it's not necessarily their fault, but I mean, I live in Southern California. All these people I met, they were all so helpful and said call me whenever you want, ask questions, let me interview them, take their time out. So it's kind of snowballed that after it was kind of like the new factor of it wore off, all their um, happiness and putting a smile on their faces and documenting their history all took over and now it's beyond my control. I mean, I couldn't stop doing this if I wanted to because I've, I've set out to do it. It's, you know, it should have been done. You know, it's history being lost. And I'm sure there's a number of other things, but they just, they're not miniature, loud, gas-driven, 60-mile-an-hour cars. So, I mean, there's a lot there to be interested in.